a material to ADA and I participated to the short-term scientific mission at the Research Center for Geospatial Sciences in Porto with the supervision of Neftali Sildero. At the end of 2019, I was slowly finishing my PhD focused on the impact of anthropogenic pressures in the Caspian Sea microbiome biodiversity and at the same time I was looking at new opportunities. By chance, I ended up finding on a Facebook group the STSM offered by the Periamar, specifically by Neftali in Porto. Actually, the topic of my PhD may be quite a long shot from the Periamar context. However, I had previous great experience in another cost action and I fit well the requirements for the STSM proposal, thanks to some previous experiences. So I thought that th that would be a great opportunity to meet new people and take a break from the PhD. In fact, I immediately wrote to Neftali, who replied positively to my interest in the, the Periaman action. After filling up the documents, in February 2020, I went to Porto to start the work. The idea was to carry out some preliminary studies to detect if different agricultural landscapes could impact herpetofauna richness. The analysis were done collecting thousands of species occurrences, which we overlapped with specifically defined classes of landscapes taken from the um, Copernicus uh, Corin dataset, which indicated different types of crop management. We use the processing power of Google Earth Engine to run the analysis that have been presented by Neftali at the first Periamar General Meeting in Ljubljana. From a scientific education, the STSM was perfect because I improved my statistical skills and uh, I learned to handle lar large datasets in the Google Earth Engine server. Furthermore, I really enjoy the quiet of working at the research center in Porto, and I also find Porto a very lovely and nice city, and I would really have loved to stay there until the end of the STSM. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 restrictions, the first week of March, I had to fly back to Germany, where I finished the work. Finally, I'm keeping in contact now with Neftali, and I hope to continue the collaboration with the Periamar colleagues and potentially extend the scientific network for new exciting project in biodiversity conservation. Thank you.